Hello, this is Mark from Cliff's Sewing and Vacuum. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to sew on a button with the included foot using the Necky Q132A. This is the foot you will use. You'll find this foot in the attachments that come with the Necky uh, Q132A. The first step is to drop the feed dogs by reaching behind the open arm and sliding the lever that you'll find towards the bottom to the right. Lift the existing foot in the air with the lever on the rear of the machine by pushing it in an upwards direction. Next, remove the existing foot and put on the button sewing foot by pressing the lever on the back of the ankle. That was holding the existing foot and we're gonna now place the button foot on. You place it with the blue in front and the metal bar on top and slide, slide it in place. Put the machine in the right needle position by turning the knob in the front center of the machine to the right, which puts the needle so it'll go down on the right side of the foot. I'm going to, I've already got mine aligned, but I unthreaded the needle and um, put it on a zigzag for this needle at stitch width three. And you Check to make sure it's going to go down both holes without hitting. Now that I've got that lined up, I'm going to thread the needle again using the automatic needle threader. Now you want to place your button orientated on the fabric so that it lines up where you want it on, on the fabric. I'm going to select straight stitch now. And I'm going to move it from zigzag three to zero. And I'm going to do about four stitches on straight stitch before I switch to zigzag. Okay, so now I'm going to move it to zigzag. I'm going to put it back on three because I previously tested this button and three works, lines up good for the holes. And I'm going to do about 10 stitches on zigzag. And finally, I'm going to do uh, some more stitches on st straight stitch. So I'm going to move the stitch width back to zero. Select straight stitch and I'm going to do Four more stitches to tie the fabric down, to tie the thread so they don't come loose from the fabric.
When you're working with a four hole button, repeat the steps that I just went through for the other two holes. And remember when you're done sewing your buttons to put your feed dogs back up so you're ready for your next sewing project. Here's the end result. I sewed a button on this fabric with going through two holes. If I was actually making something, I'd want to go through both sets of holes. If you like these videos about how to use the various features of the machine, please like the video by hitting the thumbs up below. And also subscribe below so I know there is demand to see more of these short how-to videos on the Neki Q132A.